Hello. A couple of topics up for discussion in today's Adventures in Pop. And, um, oh, by the way, lovely to see you. We're going to talk about um, Girls Aloud. Is that okay? And uh, I also want to just rant to you about my experience, my lived experience using Facebook. Well, particularly meta business ads, because I'm still not able to actually advertise on Facebook because I keep getting blocked and uh, sent error messages and, and it's driving me crazy. We'll come back to that in a moment. Let's talk about Girls Aloud first because then I can stay calm and just sort of deep breathe through this section of the um, the video. So welcome along. Girls Aloud, why am I talking about Girls Aloud and why do I even care? That's really the question. Girls Aloud are going to... Um, tour again in 2024. I think it's going to be their 21st uh, anniversary of getting going, of Sound of the Underground. They, um, you will remember with Girls Aloud, and those of you who are not so familiar with the whole Girls Aloud oeuvre, they won uh, Pop Stars The Rivals, if I remember rightly, an ITV talent show before X Factor had even got going. They won this thing, uh, Pop Stars The Rivals, um, I don't know, back in 2002, I do believe. Um, and the, the idea of this is they would go through this process. They'd end up with um, a boys band and a girls band and they would compete with each other. If I remember rightly, um, well, I've got a feeling that the boys won and then the girls had the really big stonking great sound of the underground, num four weeks of number one hit. Um, the boys then disappeared and were never seen ever again. I hope they're okay. Look, if you're one of those boys, get in touch. Um, and the girls went on to be Girls Aloud. And they had 20 top 10 hits, in, or 20 top 20 hits, I think, in the UK. They sold about 4 million albums and about another 4 million singles. They basically had a decade of incredible success. Uh, I think four number ones. Um, and they did really well. I think they got a Brit Award for uh, The Promise. And... They've just had a really good career. Now, look, they're getting together next year. It's going to be a bit weird, obviously, because for those who know the Girls Aloud story, a very important part of the story is that Sarah Harding died uh, of breast cancer, I think, two years ago. So I think it's quite interesting, you know, the whole idea of uh, five becoming four and they're going off and doing the tour. Now, when they announce the tour, they're very careful to talk about Sarah and to talk about how they wanted to you know, honour her legacy. And actually, I'm sure they will do that. I, I should imagine it will be quite emotional and that they'll want to make sure that she's included because she was a really big personality, a big part of Girls Aloud. Now, look, why do I care? The bottom line is this. I'm, I'm not really convinced that any of them are particularly ta talented. Can I... Don't say anything, but just between you and me. I don't think they're particularly brilliant, but what they did have uh, was fantastic songs. The, the the writing team, the production team who worked with them, who I think, in my opinion, just got better and better. Um, these were really good quality pop songs and they were quite interesting. They're quite different. Sometimes the words are quite cheeky. Um, they, they certainly were written with the kind of girls, you know, um, strong girls point of view. And it was... It was really refreshing. So I think, in my view, Girls Aloud had better songs than Spice Girls. I know, I know, I know. Um, they were not as cool as All Saints, uh, who I I think I probably, you know, loved the most. But but they have far more records out than All Saints. I mean, All Saints, if you look back, you know, you, you just wonder what they could have done if they didn't keep fighting all the time. Um, Spice Girls... You know, very well organised, but I didn't like the music very much, didn't like the voices very much. Um, Girls Aloud, their voices just about sort of dealt with the complexity of what they're trying to sing. Um, and I want to point out a couple of tracks that I, that I always thought were just incredibly good pop songs from the noughties. So we're talking about the first 10 years uh, of this millennium. Uh, I would go back, if you don't really know much about uh, girls Aloud, if you're not familiar, then I would go back and I would pick up two songs. I think Call the Shots is fantastic. 
I don't know what it's about. It's just really good. And then right near the end of their career, I think they were just on the verge of ending the, you know, going on their hiatus or splitting. I'm not quite sure what officially they did. There is a song called Untouchable, which uh, there is a kind of a dancey version that goes on for about six or seven minutes. It's brilliant. It's Again, it's bonkers. There's a big, expensive, lavish video. It didn't do as well as a lot of the earlier tracks. I think it's fantastic. It's probably my favourite of theirs. And there were and there were others too. I would skip over the cover versions they did, and there were a few cover versions in there, not much fun. But the the original songs um, that all came from the same um, really excellent kind of stable of production and writing, they were good. So um, I'm quite interested to see how they get on uh, going out on tour and doing a, a tour of British Stadia in 2024. You heard it here. Probably not first. If you're a fan, you'll have known all about it. You'd have probably gone and bought some tickets by now. But anyway, they're welcome back. That was the fun part. Let's just quickly talk about uh, Facebook. It's hard to know where to begin, right? This has been going on. It's been a saga for quite some time. For about the last five weeks, I have spent, I don't know, I would say we're probably... Uh, 30, 40 hours of my life chasing Facebook business, then it becomes meta business. What's been happening basically is I've been running into some error codes. Uh, some of them are really vague and they don't tell you how to fix the error. So you get an error that just says you've got an error code pretty much, um, or that you need to go and fix your permissions, okay? Been back through the permissions so that's about having permission to spend money um, on meta business i've got all this permission sorted it the, the error code is still there i've looked it up on google i've followed um i mean don't even uh then i get an error code telling me that uh, i need to enter a payment method i go and look and i find that the payment method is already there and is valid and it's working um, it's, it's incredible. But then the other thing, this is what really is frustrating, is that when you are trying to set up these adverts and you run into trouble, uh, if you chase help through the site, all you'll get is another page will pop up and tell you, right, go to here, go to here, go to here. And when you go to here, go to here, go to here, it, it, it just peters out. You don't, you don't get to the root of the problem. You, you can't speak to a person um i get um i get errors telling me um i need you know i need to fix all these errors and it says view for you know for more details you click on it goes to a page that has nothing to do with it. it's like a, it's like you know uh how did i get here you try and work your way back nobody you can speak to you can send off you know an email so i did that i sent off a very sad email saying please 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 let me just get on here so I can get on with promoting my music, which is quite quickly grinding to a halt. I got an email back during the week, a really good email back, the one that I wanted that said, thank you very much, we have lifted all the restrictions, you are now ready to go, your, your account is up and running. Brilliant, I skipped and danced around the house. It had taken five weeks to get there. Hello, uh, at this stage I'm going to Butt in just for a moment because I'm going to show you one or two of the things that, that I'm talking about here. So let's, I'm going to show you the little notes that I got from Facebook and I'm going to show you some of these error codes. Okay, so, so stand by. So here you can see uh, on Sunday, November the 19th, came at quarter to 12 in the, in the uh, at night. It says, thanks for contacting Meta. We noticed unusual activity on your account and temporarily dis disabled your payments. After reviewing your account, I've reactivated your account uh, and payments, so you should be able to run ads and make payments on Facebook from Meta again. Oh, that's marvellous. Kind regards. Lovely. Fantastic news. Next day, sit down, start to go through the whole thing again. All the same error codes came up. Nothing's been lifted. So this is the kind of thing I get. Watch this very carefully. So here's lots of um, campaigns that I'm trying to make go live. And over here, 
See up here, the blue box, it says review and publish. I'm gonna press that now and see what happens. There are eight of them. Fix error. Hmm, fix error. Okay, let's have a look at what it says if I fix this error. It says, payments are not available for your role. That's not true, but please check permissions. Okay, so fix error, I'm clicking it. Well, I've just gone through to somewhere else completely different, and I can on here go to, um, I think I need to go to payments. Uh, no, let's have a look. No, I can't. It's, it's, I've got to go to, it says send me off to the wrong place. I've got to go somewhere else. But uh, and these little red triangles, that's all bad news. Um, so goodness knows if any of that's up and running, I doubt it. You can't speak to a person. It's Kafkaesque. I mean, you are literally going around in circles and finding you're back at the same page that you started at. Um, that I learned that I need to do this in Google Chrome and not in Safari. So I did the whole lot in Google. I mean, I've, I have done everything I've been asked and it's obviously still not good enough. So it is driving me crazy. And Facebook, I don't know what you're playing at. Why does it need to be so difficult for me to spend money with you? Uh, I mean, Google isn't much better, uh, but you are the worst. And so look, um, Mark Zuckerberg, if you're watching, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm just trying to, you know, get some, get some momentum going, get some marketing going. And this is not my best subject. I'm much happier to come here and talk to you about how um, some crazy idea for a lyric came to me out of the sky. That's what I'd like to talk about, not this nonsense with Facebook. I haven't sorted it. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I might have to hire a person to shoot. No, 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 no. Hire a person to come and help me. I mean, I, I need someone to just kind of sit here and go through it with me because it's a nightmare. So that is driving me completely crazy. And it shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't. We are little people in this great big music industry and it shouldn't be so hard. Just want to, you know, just want to make a living getting through with this. Um, some of you, I'm sure, would have had the same problems. And as I've once said, you know, before, when something comes along that can replace Facebook, I'll be onto it like a flash. Um, so look, I'm just going to leave you in a in a world of pain. Uh, as I say, it's just been horrible. Um, and next week, I'm sure that, uh, that there'll have been a breakthrough somewhere. Oh, I tell you what, I will leave you with some rather interesting news. One, one bit of good news, okay. Um, for the second year in a row, um, I uh, posted a couple of songs Two of mine and one of Goldhawk Foxes, which is a co-owned song between myself and CJ of Goldhawk Foxes. Three songs. I sent them off to a music competition that I'd entered before. It's called the UK Songwriting Competition. Um, sent them off a few months ago. Didn't think anything else of it. Got some feedback just in the last week that said the two songs of mine, uh, one is I Breathe With You, came out a little while ago one is my imaginary friend which is going to be the next single coming out in december um they both got a kind of you know highly commended badge you know like a like a you know highly commended rosette it was a level five which means that it's better than level four and a level three um but it wasn't going further into the competition however the gold Hall foxes song and this is the second time this happened i mean Maybe it's trying to tell me something, but for the second time, it was the Goldhawk Foxes song that also had a level five highly commended, but also was uh, now a semi-finalist in the competition and could go further. So semi-finalist is the worst it's going to do. It could go all the way to the finals. Who knows? Um, the song in question, if you want to go and check it out, is uh, Never Gonna Fall In Love. And um, well, it's rather thrilling. So that is still in the competition and could go further. I will keep you posted. Uh, other than that, have a good weekend. Uh, don't let Facebook, Meta and all the rest of them. I mean, God, it, last week it was Spotify, this week it's Facebook. I mean, these institutions are supposed to help you, not slow you down and drive you crazy. Take it easy. Bye-bye.